blade and quill. Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the selection tools. They are located right here. You have three selection tools that you can use to select uh, geometric shapes such as uh, rectangles, ellipse or polygons. Then you have the outline selection tool that you will use to select small areas or specific areas. And then right next to it you have the contiguous selection tools and you will use this one to select uh, larger areas. Now, if you are familiar with Photoshop, the outline selection tool is called the lasso. As for the contiguous selection tool, it is called the magic wand. Here you see the uh, uh, option anti-aliasing. You have it for all of the tools. If you don't see it, it's because you are on the wrong mode. You have two modes, the pixel selection mode and the vector selection mode. If you click on the vector selection mode, you will see the uh, uh, options disappear. In order for it to reappear, you have to be on the pixel selection mode. So this is where it's hiding, just in case you didn't see it. Let me uh, demonstrate why it is important for you to have uh, this uh, option uh, checked. We are going to first uh, turn off the elephant and we are going to be on this paint layer. We are going to uh, make a selection, maybe a circle selection, and we are going to fill it with a foreground color. And uh, in order to do that, you need to do shift plus backspace to fill with the foreground. Control shift plus the letter A is to undo your selection. Now let's see what happens if I unclicked the anti-aliasing option. We are going to make another selection here and we are going to fill it this time with the yellow that is a background color. And here the trick is control plus backspace. Control shift plus A again to undo your selection. Now let's have a closer look. As you can see, the gray is, uh, has a very nice and clean uh, edge and the yellow has a very feathery uneven uh, edge. So this is why it's so important for you to always have the anti-aliasing uh, checked. You have a better, cleaner, uh, you know, work when you paint your illustrations. So let's delete that layer and now we are going to be on the sketch. So let's make it a little bigger. Here we go. And let's uh, work with the lasso. Now the lasso is uh, great when you want to do some uh, selection of specific area. In order to make more than one selection, you hold the shift key and now you can make one selection here and then you can make another selection here. My finger didn't leave the shift key, all right? So I have now two selections. I can do several things. If I click on the T letter on my keyboard, I can move the eyebrows. The T is the shortcut for the moving tool that is right here, the move tool. Or oh, let's say that I didn't want those eyebrows anymore. I will just click on the delete key on my keyboard and they will be erased. But I want them, so I'm going to do a Control Z to undo all of that. So Control Shift A to undo my selections. If you wanted to paint a large area like the arms of your uh, elephant first, a good thing to uh, know is that you never paint on your sketch. You always paint underneath. So we are going to create a layer between the background and the sketch. Now the layer is active, you see it's highlighted, so I can now paint on it. We are going to first select the area that we want to paint with the magic wand. So we're going to click in the middle of this arm and in the middle of the second arm. And now the only thing we need to do is uh, do the trick of earlier, shift plus backspace to uh, fill the area with a foreground color. 
So here is uh, the uh, end product and I like to show a comparison, you know, from sketch to a painting. Uh, let's have a closer look. Uh, the way that I created those uh, white uh, highlights is by using uh, the uh, lasso tool and I'm going to add another one. So let's say I wanted to add another one here. I just create this very thin, skinny, you know, selection and then I just do the shift backspace to fill it and control shift plus A to undo and now I have a new you know little highlight on the side of course I don't want this here I just want to show you so I'm gonna do a control Z to undo all of that I used uh, the magic wand uh, to uh, select my large areas and I painted them you know in gray or in pink and yeah that's about it so uh, this was a quick demonstration on how to use the selection tools to paint your illustrations. Uh, in the next upcoming video, I will show you a few more tools that can help you work faster. So until then, have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Bye.